Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use simple formulas in Excel. This will include addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. I'm going to use this table to put the formulas into context and explain their application to an everyday example. Okay, so every Excel worksheet is made up of a number of boxes and those boxes are called cells. So if I place my cursor on a particular cell, I'll just highlight this cell here. This cell has a coordinate number and in this particular one it's called C9. And it's C9 because it's in column C, row 9. It's important to know that because when we come to using our formulas, we'll need to know which cells we're referring to in order to make those calculations. So we're going to start off with this very simple everyday example in this table. So we've got a range of fruit here in this column and then we've got some simple values. So for example, price that we've bought the fruit for, the price that we've sold it for, the profit that we've made, and we'll work that out with a formula, the amount that we've sold, and then we can work out gross profit. And along here, we can just simply add up the figures that we want um, for our total spend. So let's just add up these figures here. So the first thing that we need to do is to highlight the cell where we want our results to appear. And then the beginning of each formula will start with the equal sign, the word sum, and open brackets or parentheses. Then I need to tell Excel which values I would like to add together. So in this case, I want to add together C3 all the way through to C6. So the quick and easy way to do that is to simply click on C3, drag my cursor down, and then close the bracket and press enter. So if you just click on the cell, then go up to the formula bar, which is here, you can see exactly what Excel has done to produce this figure. And it's just added together everything from C3 through to C6. And these two dots in the center indicate between. Everything is being added up between these two cells. The slightly slower way would be to use equals, sum, open brackets, and to simply click on the cell, press the plus sign, click on the next cell, press the plus sign, and go all the way through until you get to the end, and then close brackets and press enter. Again, if you click on the cell, your formula will appear up here, which gives you exactly which cells are being added together. Now, if you didn't want to add together the entire column, then all you need to do is to simply input equals sum open brackets, click on the cell that you want to add, click the add sign, and then click on the next cell that you'd like to use in your calculation, close brackets and press enter. Click on the cell and up here you can see that Excel has added together C3 and C5. The quickest way to add up a column is to click on the cell where you want your results to go and drag your cursor upwards and then go up to this auto sum icon up here. We're on the home tab and the auto sum is over here. Click on that and again you'll get the same result as we did the first time round. And similarly if I wanted to add up the total of this column here I just simply click and drag and auto sum. Now if we wanted to use subtraction then we can do that to gain our profit between the price we bought our bananas and the price we sold our bananas. So we input equals sum. So we've got the price we sold, which hopefully is going to be greater than the price we bought it for, otherwise we're not going to make a profit. Click on the cell, input the subtraction sign, click on the cell with the value we want to subtract, close brackets and press enter. So what's great about Excel is that this is all automated now. So because we've referred to a cell and not a value, we haven't put 10 minus five into this formula. What we've actually said is, can you subtract whatever is in this cell from this cell? So if I change this value, let's say I put seven in, then the answer is going to change here. And again, you've got exactly the same formula, 
but you just change the value in the cell. So just change it back and our answer will change. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing in each cell. So again, if I want to subtract this cell from this cell, I just simply input my formula, click on the cell that I need in my formula, press the minus sign, click again, and there we have our profit. So rather than doing this for every single cell, we can actually copy and paste a formula. So if you highlight the cell with the formula in, you can go up to copy, and then you can go down to the lower right corner of your cell, and you can simply drag all the way down, and it will copy that formula into each cell. So as you can see, if I click on this cell and go up to the formula bar, we've now got the formula D5 minus C5. So there's D5 minus C5. And again, D6 minus C6, D6 minus C6. So it's just simply copied that formula to those cells there. So if we wanted to identify how much profit we'd make if we sold one of every fruit. And again, we can just use a simple sum to just add up how much we'd make if we sold one of every fruit. So if we wanted to work out the gross profit for the day, we just have to multiply the profit per banana by the amount we've sold. And the way we do that is once again to input our beginning of our formula equals sum open brackets and then we want to multiply this figure and then we use the star sign and then we want to multiply it by this figure and then close brackets and press enter and there you can see we have our gross profit and again if we had got to the end of the day and realized that actually we sold a few more then we can just simply change this figure and then this answer would simply change automatically and once again we just put equals sum bracket input our formula close brackets and press enter and then again if we wanted to copy this formula to these two cells we click on this cell check we've got the right formula here go up to copy and then simply drag don't forget you need to go to the bottom corner of this cell drag down and then it will copy that formula to the bottom two cells. Then if you wanted to work out our gross profit for the day, then we simply click and drag, and then we've got our total here for the day. And once again, if we wanted to find out how many we'd sold through the day, then we again click and drag and find our total here. To explain division to you, I've just added these two columns at the end of the table. So let's say, for example, we had to split our profit into wages. The first thing I do is I identify how many of my workers I have on that day. So as you can see, I've just inputted a few simple figures. I have one person on bananas, two people on apples, one person on grapes, two people on oranges. And then we're just going to add those up by using the technique we used before and then you can see we've got six workers. At the end here if we wanted to identify the wages that we needed to pay out to our workers then we can use division in this total columns here. Once again we input our normal formula equals sum open bracket and we want to divide this value here using the forward slash key with this value here. And we close the bracket and press enter. So as you can see, this would be the wages that we needed to pay each of our workers, splitting our profits equally between six. If we wanted to pay our workers according to how much profit they'd earned, we can simply do exactly the same. We can put in our formula and we want to divide this profit here between the number of workers we had on that particular store. Now here we've only got one, but that's fine because it may change to two if tomorrow we were particularly busy. So here we would have that this individual worker would have all of these profits. Now again, to copy and paste this down to these three cells, 
we could then just go across to copy and then go across to the lower right hand side of our cell click and drag all the way to the bottom and it would simply copy that formula to the remainder of those cells in that column and here you can see that we've divided 150 by two workers equaling 75 and so on and so forth so if we changed any of these figures let's say for example we had two people on that day and we forgot we could just simply change that and this figure here would change and we'd have those wages equally split between those two workers so I hope that's helped you. It can be slightly confusing at times. So I hope that what I've done by using this table has kind of put it into context for you and just helped to identify how you might use this on a daily basis. So if it has, please subscribe and have a great day.